Hi Capricorn, here is a general look at your solar chart for July 2014 and uh, there's some uh, significant moves happening this month. Um, two planets which have been in long transits are shifting and so things are going to begin to feel different uh, to you. Probably things are going to pick up from after mid-month, but here's the overview anyway, and uh, it's a practical time when you may be uh, more giving more attention to uh, work, uh, but also collaborations, also partnerships, and keeping a weather eye uh, on health. And uh, there's going to be a new moon that's on the 26th, uh, and it indicates a fresh start with what you share with another that's putting it loosely so that might be finances that might be property but it might be you know um, mutual feelings so it's to do with deeper deeper things it's your emotional life and also deeper questions as well and this is altogether a good energy because it's going to couple up with uh, Jupiter uh, who, that arrives in there once Jupiter shifts out of its long transit um, it'll arrive in there on the 16th there to stay for a year so um, uh, things should be looking up in that area over the next 12 months uh, joint finances, property and deeper feelings about things and people and then from the 26th uh, you should be putting your best foot forward actually on that day maybe uh, to improve things even if it's simply researching, uh, cooking something up, dreaming something up, making a plan uh, for the future and uh, that's because the new moon is going to be on that day in that very deep area of your solar chart. Now that was the short version, here's the long one. Um, the sun, um, it's in an area to do with close relationships and uh, getting along with others, uh, but also it's got a real practical slant and uh, you and someone could be uh, uh, supporting each other or you could be working one-to-one -one and, and supporting um, supporting uh, their plots and schemes or their um, uh, them but also they could be supporting your plots and schemes and also it's a great time for just close associations but again it's more the second part of the month uh, I would say that uh, that is really uh, getting going and uh, Mercury and Venus are both going to be focusing your mind and your heart actually on uh, the to-do list maybe or daily schedules, daily chores and a lot of the conversation will be centered around uh, the mechanical details of daily life whether that is to do with the job or you know repairs and maintenance or whether it's to do with the body and the physical, your physical self. So um, uh, but Venus is in there and that means that anybody that you have to rub shoulders with uh, related to that area like uh, uh, therapists or co-workers or uh, people who are service providers and are just assisting you and helping you out in some way or indeed you're assisting them and helping them out so they're like clients or they're friends that you're just giving a hand to. Um, there is a lovely sort of cooperative uh, warm feeling there because of Venus being in that area there so you're more likely to have at least a reasonable interaction with these sorts of people uh, and including health providers and anyone um, who is there to provide you uh, a service or for whom you are providing a service and uh, it is the sort of feeling of um, if things have been bad there then it's not likely to be getting any worse in fact it could really take a turn for the better uh, but both Venus and Mercury are quite uh, uh, f uh, swift moving planets so uh, Mercury moves out of there on the 13th uh, into the same area as the Sun and then uh, that means that you could be bouncing ideas off another, there could be a lot of chat, gossip, um, you could be um, interested in uh, another's version of something, uh, you could be 
consulting them for their knowledge uh, or it's just going to be you you know and a friend or a family member or whatever um, exchanging information and 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 you know opinions about things as as we do um, but also others could be consulting you for your knowledge in an official capacity maybe uh, or uh, consulting you uh, for you as a being a go-between type person um, and uh, but you can actually close liaisons a uh, one-to-one -one work uh, partnerships uh, whether they these are like short-term or long-established ones um, th you can do better by uh, utilizing and, and um, taking advantage of, of you know who you know um, in this phase and then Venus comes in there on the 19th into the same area as Mercury just before the Sun leaves on the 23rd so for a while there you've got the Sun Mercury and Venus all in the same place and she's strong in her favorite place there and uh, that when a planet comes into their home house as it were uh, they then uh, are at their energies are amplified so um, if you know oil needs to be poured on troubled waters or um, you are um, you and someone are slightly at odds with each other or uh, you are um, feeling a little bit lonely maybe uh, or just overlooked and not appreciated with Venus coming in here it's likely to be that you start to feel a little bit better about things and um, it definitely would give a boost to close relationships you and someone could get a closer rapport somebody really begins to get what you're saying um, or you're beginning to get what they're saying and um, in a personal professional sense and you and another could just be enjoying each other's company um, during this uh, phase here which takes you out to, uh, to, to the end of the well past the end of the month then the Sun moves on the 23rd uh, leaving Mercury and Venus there and goes into quite a deep area of your chart but um, just let me w rewind slightly because I want to mention that in July we're getting an amplification of tripping over my own tongue of the um, the, the the Uranus Pluto Sun Mars energy and probably the first week is going to be a little bit up and down um, because these are the the two big hitters as I call them the the two transpersonal planets which are very prevalent and uh, very sort of um, active uh, in your sign or rather um, influencing your sign um, <clears throat> uh, one of them is in your sign. Uh, at the moment indeed for the past few years uh, so just in that first week there uh, there might be another little um, piece of the puzzle that comes in from the universe which um, in our human world we see as a little bit of a challenge so um, watch out for that the month I would say definitely gets better as it unfolds right so it kind of um, comes in in a, in a very um, in, a, in a slightly challenging sort of a way and goes out in a really uh, like a, a really sort of warm summer breeze kind of a way I would say and uh, that would be simply because you're one of the cardinal signs although every single one of the signs is going to be feeling this and there could be a little bit of tension um, you've just got to remain open and flexible I think when it when it comes to the ideas of others um, maybe a, you know uh, keep an open mind about something that you have just discounted out of hand uh, just keep an open mind about that that might be a good way to use this energy and um, conditions at home place on the map family uh, or community all of that is has got a real sort of ch um, an energy of change about it um, the unexpected about it there um, but as I say uh, depending on uh, 
which part of the sign um, your sun is in, um, in Capricorn, and also your underlying natal chart energies, uh, ideas are likely to take you off in, in a different direction. If you suspend disbelief, maybe, if you are really um, looking for the truth in a genuine way, even though it kind of goes against the grain, because what these two are doing, Uranus and Pluto, over these years, are uh, re-educating you and um, kind of lifting off the layer uh, or very many layers of the onion, like an onion, of, of, of maybe um, scripting or conditioning that you've had overlaid and overlaid and overlaid in your life up until now. It, they, they certainly are, you know, uh, huge forces uh, for change and evolution. Now then, um, so as I say, the month definitely improves as it matures uh, and uh, hopefully that goes for all of us. Uh, usually Capricorns do, I have to say. Capricorn is a very long-lived sign. It's like a great old oak. It's been here for a long time. It's seen a lot. It gets wise. It wises up. So, um, uh, and uh, it's it's like, you know, fine wine in old kegs, put it like that. So uh, now then, from the 23rd, it's a gear shifting phase. So uh, you'll be, you would be advised not to overthink things, but just to sense and feel and get the gist of it. See the sort of read between the lines. Um, you know, don't take things at face value. Uh, definitely uh, get a second opinion on something you want. might want to get a little bit of confidential advice, you know. Maybe can consult with somebody um, about, you know, your personal th things that are close to your heart. Uh, that would be a good time to do it. Also, you may be weighing things up, figuring things out, getting, as I say, sounding it out sounding it out, getting the measure of it, getting the measure of it, because it's it's not that obvious, you know, it's it's like maybe people are saying one thing, but actually you're beginning to sense and know and feel on a deeper gut level another thing, um, because this is quite a deep house of, of the chart, this is Scorpio's house, so um, you could be musing over things, you could be musing over some deeper questions, you could be confronting yourself on this or that or the other thing, and maybe chucking out a bad habit, which you know is not doing you any good. Um, and um, definitely f um, the way forward here is like the hermit in the tarot deck, it's holding up that lantern in front of you and feeling your way forward just by the light of your own intuition and transition. This is a gear change house will occur um, uh, through um, using that uh, kind of knowing, but also through mut mutual interaction with another. Um, so it's maybe somebody there um, giving you that support, maybe you there giving them that support, but whatever it is that you come up against, the two of you maybe, then there is a, then there is a moment of, of, of breakthrough, transition, moving on into the next stretch of road. It is only a four week period, um, but it's just at the last um, part of the month of July. Mars is going to move this month finally after a, a mega long transit at the top of your chart. And uh, you having to put lots of energy into uh, the master plan or your, your work, uh, your, your more worldly image. Um, or your general direction in life and building a reputation, being very decisive and energetic in that area there and um, crossing swords sometimes with authority figures, bureaucracy, red tape, for whatever the reason. Then Mars is going to move finally and uh, goes on into a very future orientated part of your chart. Um, <clears throat> along with the sun being in this gear change part, Th that both of those have the flavor of future, the future orientation, you know, after this, then. So it's kind of going, it's got, got a forward moving um, uh, feel to it. 
and um, because of um, so then with Mars here for seven weeks it's only going to be uh, there it goes back into its ordinary cycle then this will be the time for you to get going with something that's been gathering dust that got shelved uh, you know something that's been in the back of your mind something that you know it might be work that you've just had to sort of put on one side but whatever it's about it's time now to get on with it. It's also the energy of the um, alternative, complementary, unconventional, unorthodox. So once again, like I was saying, suspending disbelief, trying out something new for a problem, which is maybe, you know, a bit lateral thinking. So um, however it is, um, just don't be hasty, you know, think something through. You are the sign that always does do this. You're very cautious, but I'm just going to remind you. And uh, this is definitely going to be a more progressive phase. It's quite technology orientated too. So some of you could be adding to the paraphernalia that we all seem to trail around with these days. Um, and uh yeah which could be useful which could help you to be successful but which you'll have to get your head around you'll have to learn about it's definitely overall mars coming in here for seven weeks from the 26th is time to get the ball rolling now um your ruling planet well until the end of the year saturn is in quite a helpful angle to your sun sign so you can be slowly slowly step by step working your way um, up the pecking order, up the hierarchy, or slowly, slowly, step by step, um, achieving or understanding something or opening to something. Um, uh, this is the same area that Mars is coming into. So you can rise up the levels in your consciousness, in your understanding, in the outfit, the organization, uh, the social group, uh, just, you know, with your state status in some way or other at work or not at work. And you Capricorns born um, in the middle 10 days or with 15 to 17 degrees rising going to feel this energy the most. And then in conclusion, Jupiter um, has been opening the way to growth through close personal or uh, professional alliances uh, and very much, you know, you learning a lot through what they're getting up to really. Uh, but also them learning a lot through what y you are about as well. Well, now Jupiter is going to move into its new long 12-month cycle uh, on the 16th, and that will be you putting, uh, um, receiving emotional support, more emotional support, and probably more uh, resources coming your way. Could be financial support over this 12 months. Uh, it could be that you do well with a property, uh, type situation. Um, life could grow and expand through the contribution of key associations, whether those are working type ones, like formal ones, or whether in your own private life. Um, so uh, some of you could really hit it off and, 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 and a relationship gets, you know, it goes to the next level, goes to the next stage. You know, you begin to sort of pool uh, resources together, you sort of chip, you th uh, th uh, throw your lot in with her, him, them, you know, um, it can be like that. It can be also that there um, is improved physical um, conditions uh, for you as well, uh, somehow or other made available to you over this uh, 12 month transit and um, sort of a different financial strategy or a different sort of property setup or uh, sort of set up in another way like contract agreement. You could do quite well um, under this transit depending on the degree um, of your sun or other planets that Jupiter goes across during this long 12 month transit. And just in, con in conclusion, again, um, the last 10 days of July are likely to uh, have a really um, uplifting, uh, positive uh, energy. You feel the potential there. So make sure that you're doing something or you are with people or, or in an environment where you, um, you m most likely for these, you know, don't tuck yourself away. <laughs> um, um, well, I mean, you can do what you like, of course, but it's just is that if you were to, uh, you know, go for something, whatever it is that you've had on your mind to do, 
that you're hoping will go well the last 10 days is 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 probably that's when the sun goes across jupiter probably going to um stack the cards in your favor and that's it for july if you know your rising sign or your moon sign listen to those also if you want to check something out um, this is all written up on my website uh, dianagarland.com and i'll see you the next time